Hi, I'm Elizabeth King, and I'm the Medicaid Specialist here at Trulson Elder Care Law of Nebraska. Today, I want to talk about the transfer of assets for less than fair market value. This is an issue that we see frequently, especially when people are trying to qualify for Nebraska Medicaid to pay for nursing home care for an elderly loved one. This is the second video in a two-part series in the topic. In part one, we looked at a few basics. In this video, we will look at an example. Let's say that you're diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease and you plan to apply for Medicaid in the next year to pay for the care you expect to need. You've heard that you'll need to unload assets in order to meet Medicaid's strict asset limits, so you decide to add your son to the deed of your house. Was that a good move? Probably not. In the eyes of Medicaid, that transfer was, in general terms, a gift. Once the asset is transferred, it triggers the start of what Medicaid calls the look-back period. The look-back period is the time frame in which any asset transfer made for less than fair market value will affect an individual's eligibility for Nebraska Medicaid. The look-back period is five years. Any asset transferred within the five-year look-back period could result in a penalty period being established. To calculate the penalty period, Medicaid will take the amount of the gift and divide it by the actual daily rate in the nursing home in which you or your loved one resides. The penalty period will determine the number of days in which the individual is ineligible for Medicaid benefits. Eligibility cannot begin until the full number of days has passed. For Medicaid applicants, the start date for the penalty period is the date the individual is eligible for Medicaid and would have been eligible for Medicaid if not for an improper transfer or the date of the transfer, whichever is later. There is no limit on the maximum months of ineligibility. Once a penalty period begins, it will continue to run uninterrupted even if the individual stops receiving institutional level of care services. Penalty periods for more than one transferred asset will run consecutively, not concurrently. Any uncompensated value from multiple transfers is added to the initial uncompensated value if penalty periods overlap to determine the consecutive penalty period. If the entire transferred resource is returned, the period of ineligibility does not apply. To meet this exception, the individual must reacquire the same percentage of ownership interest in the resource that existed prior to the original transfer. If this sounds complicated, it's because it is. Tragically, far too many people attempt to give their assets away, triggering these harsh penalties that can be financially devastating. Your best bet is to get advice from professionals who understand how Medicaid eligibility works. That's one of the things we do here at Trulson Elder Care Law of Nebraska. We would be happy to help you too. If you have any questions about Medicaid in general, or the transfer of assets for less than fair market value in particular, just give us a call. <laughs>